soon, so just keep it, keep it. Yeah. Uh, All right. My reaction times aren't getting shitty. All right, it'll, it'll be in about like five seconds or so. And go. So this is Deus Ex Human Revolution. Um, I don't know why Milk said my estimate's gonna be 50 minutes because I'm probably gonna go over that because I'm pretty bad at this game. Um, I told him 55, but whatever. Um, you may notice we're playing in French. That's because um, the game was made in Montreal, so we gotta gotta keep it close to home, you know. That's that's actually not the truth. Being in French saves like 14 seconds, I think, throughout the run. So that's why we do that. So right off the bat here, I'm just gonna bring this fire extinguisher into this corner, and I'm just gonna. Oh, not that. Come here. Holy moly. This fire extinguisher needs to calm down. There we go. I'm just gonna clip through the floor. There's a guy right there. Don't worry about him. Um, you might also notice that my keyboard's probably like the loudest thing you've ever heard in the world. That's too bad. Just deal with it. That's, that's part of the experience, you know? Yeah, speaking in baguette saves a lot of time. You might also notice that I'm jumping a lot. That's because anytime you jump, it lets your sprint meter refill without you having to walk. So, it essentially lets you sprint as long as you want. Here's, there's a clip here that's like really hard to do, so I'm probably not going to get it. I'm not even gonna try. Get out of here. I gotta wait for this door to open, so. Alright. These guys are just gonna run right past him. There's a lot of that in this game, just running right past guards, because the guards are actually really bad in this game. <laughs> they are not very good at being guards. So that was the prologue. That's a pretty fun level. Adam, ici David. Vous êtes and now we need to go talk to Pritchard. Right. Although we're on a timer, so we're just gonna do some stuff before that. We gotta open those doors. Dans notre usine de Chung Chung. Je dois yeah, this candy bar. This candy bar is making you go fast. For some reason, this is like the only part, the only piece of dialogue in the whole game you can't skip. I don't know why. Probably because it's like sort of important, I guess. It would kind of look weird if you skipped through this one, so that's probably why. But it's nice and fun when you're resetting a bunch of times in a row and you have to sit through this every single time. Votre affichage rétinien est bon pour le service. Le programme de reconnaissance ne repère pas les données biomédicales et les données biomédicales et les réticules de visée. Les données biomédicales aussi en cas de douleur. Bon, vous avez fini Parce que ça arrive maintenant à l'élistation. I should have gotten like hard mode and put the text in French too. And no one would know what's going on. Peut-être que cette fois vous saurez. C'est votre jour de chance. Je vais faire comme si je n'avais rien entendu. Oh yeah, and if you think my keyboard is loud now, wait until I have to start mashing through text. Oh boy. That's going to be fun. So now we gotta go to like the helicopter or something, cause I guess like our, the plant is exploding or something. I don't really know. Once again, we're on a timer, so just take our time opening that door. Ooh, love that sound. I also like this one more little piece of dialogue we can't skip, and that's this one, this one sentence. I don't know why. Ce qui signifie qu'ils n'étaient pas parmi les mercenaires qui nous ont attaqué. Mais ils savaient par où entrer dans notre pays. Alright, now we're gonna take this box and just clip through a wall. It's gonna be fun. If I can do it right. If I hold back for too long, I'm just gonna fall to my death endlessly. So I have to kinda time that a little bit right. I'm gonna drop down to this ladder here, and normally there would be a bunch of guards down here, but since we clipped through the wall to get in here, they never spawned. 
so you can just make a nice leisurely stroll through this area. Grab this concussion grenade. I'm gonna need it for like half an hour later on in the run. These guards are not very good at their job. One cool thing about uh, already having beaten this game before is you know all these keypads, so you don't need to. Holding the one. There we go. We get to cheat by knowing all the passcodes, so, you know. Also, if you haven't figured it out yet, you can just clip the walls by doing that. Um, they saw me back there, and they weren't supposed to, so that might mess this up. I don't think it will, though. Clipping is pretty cool in this game. You just throw objects into the wall and you run right through. There's a bunch of guards in this room, so we kind of try to avoid getting shot by them. Because, you know, dying isn't really the best thing in a, in a speedrun. Get this Praxis kit, because it'll help us not die later on. Once again, not dying, always a good thing in speedruns. There's a dead guy over there, don't mind him. Oui, mais vous aviez raison. Il se passe quelque chose de louche. J'ai sur les bras un puriste mort avec de superbes implants cérébraux. By the way, get used to elevators because there's a lot of them in this game. Entendu. Qu'est-ce que je fais pour Sanders? We do our best to skip as many as we can, but can't skip all of them. Also, sprint jumping upstairs is probably the worst thing in any video game ever. This guy down here can just destroy me if he wants to. Thankfully he was nice though. The grand finale, I know. This is just, this is the best game to put for the finale, honestly. Like, the, the amount of skill that you're gonna see executed here is so high. Oops. May have done that wrong. I'm trying to skip a cutscene by doing this. Nope. Just shoot that guy. Heck, didn't get the info link skip. May as well reset, right? Whoa. Okay. There we go. Alright, so that was Seraph Industries. It's a pretty pretty cool level. I don't really remember what the correct choices for the fastest dialogue trees are, but you know, I'll, I'll get them close enough. Now we gotta go talk to Pritchard again, I guess. I don't really know. There isn't really that much story in this game, so yeah. It's just based, this is like just kind of a, a 3D platformer, that's all it is, there's no story. That's why I'm playing it in French. Because no one cares, right? This elevator is probably one of the most common of all the elevators. We get to go in this one a lot of times. Get a nice view of the city, oh no you don't. Definitely do put the fun in vernacular. That's gonna be the best part of the run, probably. <sighs> this lady wants us to report to her office or something, but you know, that'd be slow, so no. Instead, I'm gonna run away from all my troubles. And right here is where I would say I never asked for this, but I'm in French, so I'm not going to say that, because it's heck of fun, am I right? Madame. 
Mashing is probably the best part of this game, PBH, especially when your keyboard is as loud as mine. So now I'm going to go to the hospital to, like, buy some stuff, I guess. And also make myself run faster, because I think that's how hospitals work. <coughs> if you like the keyboard sounds, then more power to you. Alright, now we got to make ourselves run faster, I think. I don't really know what that upgrade does, but we need it. That's all I know. <laughs> Lay, I never asked for this. There you go. Adam, you have finished the clinic? For the moment. Yeah. For the moment, I want to know the identity of this cadaver. So, sprint jumping was hard enough before, but now we jump even higher, so now it's even harder to time, so that's fun. It's also really awkward when you're in like rooms like this because the height that you jump changes depending on how high the ceiling is. So it makes it really hard to tell how high you're going to jump. Now, Adam Jensen is kind of mean in this run because in order to go fast, I'm just going to kill this guy. He's not doing anything, but I'm just going to kill him. Because later on, he's going to try to shoot us in the face, so if I kill him now, he's not going to do that. So sorry guy, but we need to go fast. This guy tells us we don't want to go in here, but thankfully this magic trash can will let us go right in. Just by doing that, easy. I'm going to shoot so that this guy gets scared. Steal something off of that dead guy. Now I'm going to try to escape. Because these people don't really like it that I just killed someone. So thankfully, I'm so fast that they're never going to be able to kill me. Now all these guys out here are mad at me, I guess, because I don't like it when I kill people. There we go. Almost died, it's all good. So now I'm just going to run to a, my apartment because I'm scared of the police or something. Adam shows a pretty good apartment number to live at. Holy moly, I'm stuck in that guy's head, alright. And now, once again, best part of the run, more elevators. Bonjour, Richard. J'arrive à mon appartement. Bon, quand vous y serez, branchez le relais neural sur votre ordinateur. J'ai créé une ligne sécurisée et j'interviendrai à distance. Vous avez accès à mon ordinateur personnel Qui a configuré vos systèmes de sécurité d'après vous I'm just going to run over to my computer and watch some like speed runs or something, I don't know. Whatever you do on a computer. Madame. Alright, what is time to go? It's back. Time to go back to going fast. I can speak English. Your apartment, ha your apartment had 420 in it. That's sick. If you were to reactivate the conversation with that guy, I have no idea. All I know how to do is go fast. I don't actually play this game. Alright, so now it's time for like the part that I'm actually really awful at, so I'm probably going to fail a thousand times at this part. That's going to be a pretty common theme later on. I don't want these guys, like, in this entire- I don't want anyone in this whole area to see me, because if they do I have to reload. Because they'll just kill me, so... I'm going to do my best to manipulate these guys into not seeing me. These guys are going to see me. Yep. Get to reload. This is probably my worst part of the game. Hopefully I get through it pretty quickly though. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez, Francis? Vous savez pourquoi je vous contacte? Le signal qui ridiculise votre système de réseau Alright, get past those guys, this guy. Okay, turn the right way, that's good. Save up here, jump around that. I saw me, gotta reload. There's just a ton of manipulation in this part, and I don't practice this level ever, so... Oh, it's on me right away. Oh, 
Yeah, those guys are seeing me instantly, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that not happen. Or is it the guy behind? The guy behind me seeing me. Okay, that's what it is. Alright, how do I make this guy not see me? <laughs> this is gonna be a bit tricky. Alright, I couldn't hold left for some reason, that was cool. Alright, get used to seeing this screen for a while, cause if I want to get... How is that guy seeing me? <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Usually it doesn't get this bad. So the second I start... I think it's because I started sprinting when I was too close to him, so I, like, kind of alarmed him right away. Alright, let me see. Where is the latest? This is probably going to be really far back. Actually, wait, no. I think I know where it is. Alright, so we're back here now. Um, I kinda hexed myself over with that quick save, so I guess we get to do this whole part again. It's better than sitting there for three hours trying to figure out a way to get past that, though. Like I said, um, I'm not that good at this part. See, normally it wouldn't really matter if I got caught, but in this specific instance, if you get caught, you basically... Um, they're gonna kill you. Like, there's, there's no question. They're going to kill you. Alright, I made it better this time. <laughs> this time the quick save is a lot better. Oh, yeah. They're gonna probably see me. No, we're good. Alright, we made it, guys. We made it through that area. Yeah, this section I kind of have to be stealthy if I want to actually get past it. Alright, I made it through that part, though. This guy isn't turning around for some reason. That's cool. I'm gonna quick save in case he sees me. It's not the end of the world if I get spotted now, but it just makes this next part okay. Alright, should be good now. Now I can do this thing, this grenade jump. The reason why it's really nice to not have been spotted up until here is because I can actually quick save now. So that means I can give this as many tries as I want. Because I'm really awful at this too. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm better once I get past this part. This, this is why a 50 minute estimate is a bad idea. Alright, alright boys, we made it. We made it. We made it through my uh, most awful level. We can, we can commence going fast. But first I need to get these landmines, because they'll be pretty useful later on. If you didn't know this, you can literally just crouch and walk up to these things and they won't explode. That means you can pick them up. Pro tip, these are pretty handy on bosses. I get to wait for this thing. Alright. Made it through. Derelict Row. For some reason, I like... I'm using my splits during this run because for some reason I thought there might be a chance I would PB, but who who was I wrong? Hey Mumrick. Alright, so now we're in um FEMA, I guess. I'm gonna shoot this window because why not? Thank you. Thank you for the good luck. So now I'm just gonna jump in here, and instead of like actually doing this level, that's kinda slow. So I'm gonna actually take this box with me back to the beginning of the level. Cause this level is this level's too slow. I don't wanna do it. I'm giving up on speedrun. Throw this box all the way over here. 
And this is actually the exit for the boss of this area. But I'm just going to kind of clip into the wall here. Bring this box with me down here. And there's a really long elevator that you're supposed to leave the boss room from here. But I'm instead just going to clip through the door and fall down the elevator shaft. And um, if I waited long enough, I could have skipped this animation. But now I'm actually in the boss room for this level backwards. And so what that means is that I can just kind of do this. And most people say that the boss fights in the non-director's cut version of this game are really, really hard. Well, here's the first boss, and he's dead. So that's a, that's a cool boss. I don't, I don't know what people are complaining about. That was pretty easy. They should have made the bosses harder, harder, honestly. This is some quality texture. Alright, so now I'm going to want to leave, and if you remember, I put a box on the right side of the elevator, so I'm going to do a cool strat and run out on the left side. Whew, I avoided the box. This is the run. Alright. Now this guy's just kind of minding his own business, so I'm just going to kill him. Take his grenades. And there we go. That was, that was the first boss. I don't know why people complain about them being so hard. All right, now Pritchard's all like, hey, I want to tell you something, but I don't like Pritchard, so I'm not going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to Seraph instead. Talking to Pritchard would actually uh, make the Seraph conversation much longer, so I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> you would have run into that box, yeah. It's because you're not imploring the strat of remembering remembering where things are. There we go, there was Taggart. Alright, now Seraph's like, go to Hengsha, and I'm like, okay. Hengsha's pretty cool. I don't know why, I guess Seraph's just kind of tired of us, so he's sending us to China. That's what I do, honestly. C'est juste que j'adore vous faire râler. Minutes, Jensen. Dépêchez-vous. If I finish this run under estimate, that's gonna be a miracle. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I'm going to Hengsha. For any of you who have played this game, you probably remember this this uh, section. It's a pretty long one. There's a bunch of main quests you have to do. There's lots of side quests too. Um, I was just recently doing like a casual playthrough of it, and it took me like three or four hours to get through. We just destroy that guy, cause why not? By the way, this is a pretty long level though. But, you know, long levels are kind of slow, aren't they? So instead of, like, actually doing the three big main quests, main, uh, quests in here, and then eventually figuring out that I need to go to Taiyang Medical, I'm just gonna go to Taiyang Medical. How does that sound? Holy moly. If I can actually get in Taiyang Medical, it seems they've ramped up their security since I last tried this. Dang, they don't want they don't want me getting in. The speed police are telling me to slow down. There we go, there we go, boys. We in there. All right, so that was Hengsha. That's a pretty, it's a pretty fun level. That skipped like. A sixth of the whole game, probably. <laughs> Not even joking, that's a, that's a pretty big skip. So now I'm in Taiyang Medical. Holy moly, Satan's with us. Right. 
citrusy. So this guy's like, please save my life, I'm dying. But saving his life would cost half a second, so I'm not going to do that. This guy also tries to talk to us, so we're just going to shoot him so we don't have to talk to him. No lives are spared in the name of speed. So that section is pretty fun. There's like a guard over there, but he's really bad at like aiming, so. Alright, so coming up is like a another kinda long section where you have to do a bunch of stealthy stuff and get around a bunch of stuff, I guess. And you eventually have to figure out that Megan's alive or something, I don't really know. So instead of doing that, we're also just gonna skip that, because who wants to do slow stuff, right? This skip this skip is a little bit more more complicated though. Um, it's not as easy as just uh, walking through a wall. First though, we get we get to ride this elevator because what would this game be without elevators? I'm gonna get this typhoon upgrade, and you might be wondering why because I haven't been killing anything yet. Um, let's just say we're not going to use that for killing stuff. It's got other uses. You also might kind of want to know why we have a fire extinguisher. Um, I think you'll figure it out. Alright, so now I'm going to put this out here. Quick save, and close the elevator and sprint out before it can close on me. And now... Jump up here, do some, do some stuff. Put this fire extinguisher through the wall here, and I'm gonna use the typhoon. But there's no enemies here. I hear you saying. Well, just you wait. Now I'm through the wall, and now I have a fire extinguisher on top of this elevator. And now I'm gonna line up a pretty neat trick, I guess. Quick save here, just in case. There we go. Perfect. Quick save once again, just in case. Just in case that happens, and I spoil the trick for y'all. <laughs> There's no enemies there. Oh, oh, almost freaked out there for a second. Alright. Alright, so if I'm actually good at this video game, I would get this trick at some point. Now the problem is that I might not actually be good at this video game. Okay, that time I didn't uncrouch properly. Spoilers. There we go, boys. Now our reward for doing all that hard work is to sit in the second longest elevator of the game and stare at the sun so that we don't have to see how awful this run is. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. The game doesn't want us to do that. Hmm. Alright, well it's almost time to use that concussion grade that we picked up in the first two minutes of the run. We just have to wait for this number to hit 144. Yep. This is an exciting speedrun. I need to admire some artwork, I guess. over here. Alright, it's almost go time. It is almost go time. Alright, here we go. Burst through the gates, jump over these computers. No respect for personal property. Quick save here in case I'm awful. Now shoot to get these guards' attention. Throw the grenade to destroy all of them. And now I can just run right past all of them. Easy as that. And now, I'm gonna use the two EMP grenades I picked up along the way. Once I get out of this elevator. To destroy these giant robots. 
There's two of them. Gotta kill both of them. Press this button, there we go. Now I have another EMP grenade. And now I gotta wait for this helicopter thing, so I'm gonna grab some extra stuff while I'm waiting. And now while this timer's running, I'm gonna go over and grab some more stuff. Grenade, and more Typhoon. Alright, now it's time for honestly one of the best levels of this game. Like, this is, this is the greatest level in the game, honestly. This is Picus, we're, we're in the great land of Canada now. No longer in China. So instead of like actually going into the news station, I'm just gonna jump off the top. And land right in this little room here. And now it's time to meet our friend the Funacular. Oh, this is this is my favorite part of the run, to be honest. Because what you get to do is not only do you get to clip into something, but you also get to clip into another thing that takes roughly seven years to manage to clip through. This is this is the best part of the run right here. get to kind of wiggle our way around until we just manage to pop out the other side. There we go. Easy as that. We, got, we skipped a big auto-scroller doing that. And you know what our reward for that is? It's much like the other trick that's really hard and we were rewarded with a really long elevator. We get another really long elevator. This one, this one's an exciting one. At least we get a nice view of the city to pass the to Well, hey, at least we can practice our counting now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. This is a fun elevator, isn't it? You can watch the news, I guess. Check out some, some current world news. Look at that Bigfoot spotted in Saskatoon. Huh. Not bad. So let's go back on our counting. <clears throat> oh, 17, 18, going good. There's some news. All right, let's let's go back and work on our counting. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29. I'm glad that this game teaches me how to count properly. Now I know. All right, all right, we're out of the elevator, boys. Now there's gonna be two guards here, I'm just gonna run right past them, who cares? These guards are very good at their job. And I'm gonna just kinda walk through this wall, assuming I'm not absolutely awful, considering this is the easiest clip in the game. There we go easiest of the PZs. Alright, so coming up is the second boss fight. You might be wondering, well, the first one was so easy, they couldn't make the second one just as easy, could they? Alright, that was the second boss fight, so... Yeah, I, I honestly don't know why people complain about the boss fights being so hard. They're, they're really easy. So I had to walk over there to activate a helicopter, and now I'm just kind of passing the time. Stocking up on some supplies, you know how it is. Now the helicopter's almost ready to go, so... Make my way back. Oh, got it, alright. There we go, we have exited Picus. And now we're going back to Adam's apartment. Because we're, we're really scared of, 
of Canada. Like, who wouldn't be? It's a scary place. So instead of like taking the elevator down, because you know elevators, as we've seen, are pretty pretty slow. I'm gonna do this, and whoop. Oh, let me try that one more time. Elevators are really slow, so I'm gonna try out this new invention. If I can do it right. All right. I like to call this the fire hydrant elevator. It's much faster than normal elevators. <laughs> I would definitely recommend doing it. Trying it out, it's it's a good, it's a good way to save time in your life. All right, so now I'm gonna try to go back to uh, um, the the place where Adam works, I guess. Adam's kind of mad that Seraph sent him to China, so he's gonna gonna try to take his revenge. Well, the problem is there's lots, of, there's lots of protesters outside right now, so they kind of blocked off the entrance to it, because I guess people are really, really mad that Adam got kicked out, so they're all protesting and stuff. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to find the secret way in the building, because these protesters will not let me in. This box is the key to getting in the secret way. So you see, they're, they're blocking it off right here. There's the building. But actually, if you go right here, and you if you aren't awful at the game, see the key is this box, and it's also being not awful at the game. You need both of those things. Holy moly. Alright, so... What I may have done there is that I held back for too long and Adam was like, alright, that's enough of this. I'm just I'm just ending this. You're too bad at this game. So next time, next time when I go there, I'm gonna make a quick save. Because that's always a good idea. I'm gonna shoot this barrel out of frustration. Now all these guys over here are spooked. Because I've never seen someone shoot a barrel out of frustration before, I guess. So now we gotta bring our key back again, because sadly, the key does not stay. This is a fun speedrun, yeah. Sometimes the clips are a little, a little tricky, but... Alright, so this time, this time, I'm gonna save. So that's the plan. Because you see, with this clip in particular, if you hold back for too long, Adam will just walk off the edge. There we go, boys. We're in there. So the way you're supposed to go in there normally is to, like, go to the convention center and, like, talk to some guy and you gotta do a bunch of stuff and you gotta... I don't even remember what you gotta do, but you gotta do a bunch of stuff. So, I'm just gonna go in there from the front door, and now the game's kinda confused, so the game put me at the back door now. Because the game's like, wait, what? You weren't supposed to do that. But I'll do whatever I want, so... Alright, so now we're in the elevator once again, but this time... I'm gonna buy... not buy, I'm gonna get some cloaking. And also, I'm, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at this game, so I think I'm going to up the difficulty to medium. You know, I think I can handle it. I was on easy, but, you know, I've gotten better, so I think I can handle medium now. Alright, so now that we finally got up to the top of this elevator, I'm going to skip a cutscene and then go right back down. This was worth my time. I'm glad that I rode this elevator. But now, Seraph's like really mad that we came back, so he's sending us back to China. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. He, he's, he's really mad that we managed to come back.
All right, so now we're back on our way to Hengxia again. But surprise, surprise, China doesn't want us there either now. Like, nobody wants us anywhere. So now, like, the people in China are, like, trying to kill us or something? I don't really know. So Malik's just kind of stuck there. Holy moly. I'm good at this game. Alright, alright, alright. Did I quick save? I don't think I did. Alright, so they, they, they spotted me. So I gotta do this again without getting spotted, you hear me? It's not a cloak, I can just run right past these guys. No big deal. So, I was expecting China to not want me here. Malik, unfortunately, was not, so... Sadly, sadly, Malik's not gonna make it. She's just kinda stuck there. But you know, it's all in the name of speed. Adam Jensen is a cold-hearted killer. Malik, Malik, ça va? All right, we're almost out. There we go. Farida. All right, so now, now we're like actually in China. We got we got past the barricade. But now it's just time to run here and oof. Oh yeah, we've been hit by a, a thing. Oh no. We got hit by a thing that made sprint jumping easier for two seconds. What a what a nightmare. Un rapport avec les bugs que j'ai eu. Nous les avons tous eu, mais je n'ai pas pu en déterminer la cause. Vous allez dans une. Alright, so right over here, this guy's gonna try to talk to us. I'm gonna turn invisible so he can't see me. Because Adam really doesn't like talking to people. Alright, alright, alright. So now this guy named Hugh Darrow is going to talk to us, but we don't really like him, so we're just going to hang up on him pretty quickly here. Yeah, get out of here, Hugh Darrow, we don't want you. Alright, now we're going to try to go in these sewers, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are down here, and they don't want us down here, so we're going to have to cloak so they don't see us. Still here, so I gotta cloak again, you know. You know. Normal stuff. Everyday stuff. Alright. Now here's this guy. We were supposed to talk to him before when we came to China the first time, but we just kinda skipped him. We're gonna grab that laser rifle because it's sick looking. I mean we're not gonna use it yet, but it's it looks pretty sick, so we're gonna grab it. It's time to get out of the sewers because they smell kind of gross. Before I do that, though, I'm going to stab two hypo stims in my skull because why not? This is the irregular version of the game because the director's cut version adds an extra mission, and that would take way too long to do in a speedrun, so we don't do that. So now we're gonna steal this bomb from that locker. And we don't like this guy that lives in here, so I'm just gonna put it on his desk. Because this guy's actually the one that, um, he's the one that doesn't want us here in China. And we, oh, I guess I got destroyed there. Um, that usually doesn't happen, so I didn't make a. Okay, okay. 
Posez-le sur son bureau et activez-le. Alright, hopefully this time they don't absolutely destroy me. I don't know where that guy is seeing me from, but whatever. Let's just turn invisible and completely ignore all of them. There we go, put a bomb on his desk and now it exploded. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to find the non-director's cut. Alright. So now, instead of like, go, taking a slight detour, I'm just going to clip through this wall. And save like two seconds by doing that. So now we're in Singapore, I guess. I don't, I don't really know how we got here. I guess we just kind of teleported here, I don't know. There's no other explanation. Now I'm gonna bring this box with me, because Adam really likes boxes. There's like cameras and robots and stuff, but who cares about them? Alright, so now I'm gonna clip... So now, um... So, you know, the first two bosses... They were really, really easy, and so you can just beat them in like two hits, but see, the thing about the third boss is it takes like ten seconds to kill the third boss. So that's that's way too long in a speed run, and honestly, like you have to press a whole button to kill it, so that's, that's way too much effort. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to um, completely skip the third boss. Because who needs to fight bosses? I certainly don't. So yeah, now I guess we saved Megan or something. I don't really know who that is. I don't think she's that important to the story. Now we get to watch these nerds run. Like, look at look at how they run. Like, holy moly, pick it up, guys, come on. There's, like, zombies everywhere. I don't know why there's zombies, they just are. So now there's, like, a rocket ship or something. I don't really know. I guess this is, like... I guess this turned into, like, a space game or something. So now we gotta go to space in this rocket ship. It's gonna be a good time. These are some cool zombies though. Alright, so let's go to space now. Alright, so here we are on the moon. Jensen. Made it here pretty quickly. Jensen, vous me recevez? A peine. Je suis à Panchaya, Bridgard. Des nouvelles de Sarif ou des délégués de l'ONU? Non, aucune. La station est coupée. Don't ask me how there's fire on the moon, I'm not really sure. But, um, I don't think they thought that through when they were making the game. Et personne ne sera en sécurité tant que je ne l'aurai pas coupé. Vous devrez d'abord débloquer l'ouverture de la station. I'm gonna jump up these crates. Il doit y avoir un terminal de commande en haut de la station. Go in place the secret way. Hoo So secret. And so I'm supposed to go talk to this, like, uh, this Hugh Darrow guy that we hung up on earlier. But that would kind of be an awkward conversation, considering we hung up on him. Probably wonder why we did that. So instead of going that way, I'm gonna go a different way. It's kind of hard to go this way, because the door is locked, but I think I'll find a way out. So we're gonna use our old friend, the, the typhoon thing. And we're just gonna go right through this door. Alright, now this, that one Tiger guy from a long time ago somehow got onto the moon. Not really sure how he accomplished that, but he's here, so. He's like, he wants me to save him from all the the moon zombies or something. Also, Seraph is here, but 
I'm not gonna help him because he he kicked us out of his like office like three times, so I'm not gonna help him either. All right, so now you can't you can't have space without Star Wars, right? So here's the Star Wars bridge. So I'm gonna try to get here without get across here without dying. All right, looks like we in there. I'm gonna put this down so that I can holster my weapon. Now I'm gonna click through the wall. Sadly, you can't quick save at this point, so there we go. All right, I'm gonna throw this grenade and purposefully EMP myself. And now I'm gonna pull out the laser rifle that looks really cool, cause why not use the really cool gun? Now I'm just gonna jump off this and fall for seven years. Oh, what's that? I landed. Where am I now? I think I'm dead. Is this what it looks like when you're dead? I did just fall for seven years after all. Oh, hey look, it's the final boss. Final boss can't be that easy, right? Oh, the final boss is dead. Huh. You'd think they would have put a little effort into the bosses, right? Alright, well I suppose time's coming soon. Whoop, there we go. Alright. It's almost coming. So I guess I guess that was uh, the game. Gotta wait for this lady to t stop talking until I can beat him, though. And time. So that was Deus Ex. 4959. No Holy moly! Was that underestimate? <laughs> I'm just kidding, it was Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Feeling of underestimate for a second. Yep. That brief glimpse of not being awful. <laughs> Thank you, I tried. Yep. Definitely. Alright, this, this cut seems loud, so I'm gonna stop it. So yeah, did you manage to get a hold of Z-Wing? No, I have not. Hmm. So, I guess that's it. I guess, I guess that's it then. I guess we heckin' finished.